Hi everyone and welcome to this week's guidance video. You're here with Karen Slater from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting. Your guidance messages and insights for this week are for Monday the 4th of June through to Sunday the 10th of June 2018. And I just wanted to take a moment this week to uh, send a beautiful blessing prayer of the planet. It's a soul shifts blessing prayer of the planet and it has been written by the beautiful Barbara DeAngelis. She's a, a gorgeous spiritual teacher. And so I just thought that it would be really nice seeing that there's so much going on at the pla on the on the planet at the moment but not only that mother earth is not having a fabulous time of it at the moment either and we have what's going on in hawaii so i'm specifically wanting to send healing to the planet mother earth and you know without her nourishment without her essence without her we actually don't exist so if you'd like to just take a moment to just place your hand over your heart chakra and just take a couple of nice breaths, nice easy breaths, no need to force it. Just following your breath as it moves in your body and imagining that you're breathing into your heart space. And as you bring your attention now into your heart space, your heart chakra, the area at the center of your chest. And just feel within your heart center, a deep sense of gratitude to the planet for all life, for the beauty, the oceans, the mountains, the trees, the animals, us, flowers. I offer my blessings to the planet Earth, my home while I am in this body. May grace now shower upon the world and restore it to peace. May all who suffer now be comforted and healed. May all who are oppressed now be liberated and their dignity redeemed. May all who are lost in forgetfulness now awaken from the great sleep and return to remembrance. May all beings now live together in perfect harmony. May all souls now align with their highest. May all souls now find their way back to love and may that love be all that is. May the one perfect light now triumph over all darkness in all people and all places, seen and unseen. And may that one perfect light prevail for all time. May there be peace, may there be peace, may there be peace as you send your love and gratitude from your heart space out to the planet, to Mother Earth. So we say thank you angels for providing us with this beautiful safe haven of a life in which we are blessed to live as we give thanks for the joy of being able to have this human experience. And when you feel ready, opening your eyes. Gratitude is such a huge way to shift our focus in every aspect of our lives. Gratitude is the one thing that we can use, utilize and have as a daily practice to actually raise our vibrations, to shift our focus from fear to love. And really all of the spiritual teachings that you'll find out there, the basis of them all is to shift us 
from fear to love, from lack to abundance, from thinking that there's competition to collaboration. And so if you can start each day with all of the things that you're grateful for in every moment of the day, you know, even if there's an interaction that you have with someone and it may come across as being a little bit negative, walk away from that situation and then really just stand there and go, okay, so what was my role in this situation? What was the part that I played in this situation? And what have I gained? What can I do differently next time? There is always a blessing in any moment and any interaction that we have. And as A Course in Miracles teaches, in any situation, we're either the student or the teacher or both. And I have been a student of A Course in Miracles for some time now. I'll, always a student. We're always a student and we're always a teacher. So the cards that I'm using this week are a combined deck of Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light and Angel, Angel Answered Prayers. Get it right, Karen. All right. So for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, focused intention. I love this. Beautifully timed too. Think about what you desire, set your sights high, expect the, poss the possible, the best possible outcome. So my daughter made this amazing comment the other day, um, just in passing. And it was, I just expect that everything is always going to work out for me. Wow, how amazing is that? Because it's only taken until I'm in my 40s to actually really cement that. You know, I've always had that deep faith, that deep knowing inside of myself that things would work out. But it's really only been in the last, say, five years of my deep spiritual growth that has occurred that I have really been conscious about that and made that my intention, whereas this is just her underlying belief. And so a belief is just a thought that we continue to have over and over again. And we always have those limiting beliefs that roll around in our minds, that, program that we, the programming that we have in our subconscious. And so what you're being asked to do on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday is to set your intentions at the beginning of the day. Take a moment at the beginning of the day to do some deep breathing and you can breathe in for four hold for four and then breathe out for four. Just doing that each morning for five minutes is a way to really bring you into the present moment. It's a way to really set your intentions and start your day with gratitude. So I'm, gra I'm grateful for the five minutes that I have to do this exercise. I'm grateful for the bed that I have to sleep in. I'm grateful for the warmth of my home and the roof over my head. I'm grateful that I have, you know, I'm living at a time where I can have free hot running water. You know, yes, of course we pay our bills for that, but it's, you know, we have access to that. So it's really about setting your intentions this week and getting very clear on what it is that you're wanting to bring into your week. What are the aspects that you want to bring in? For me, it's creativity. For me, it's spiritual connection. For me, it's, um, you know, loving relationships and love for self. So I set my intentions each morning of what I'm going to focus on for the day. So I, I love to play with the universe. And so I will always set the intention of universe. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the magic that you have in store for me today. But you can do this through journaling as well. So, you know, doing your morning connection, your morning meditation, and then setting the intention and writing down the positives that you want to bring into your life throughout throughout that week. And then remind yourself of that throughout the day. And also when you're focused in the, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm looking at the card and I'm like, what else do you have to tell me? As you're, as you're looking at and focusing your attention on what it is that you're wanting to bring more of into your life, of course, like law of attraction, you will bring into your life that which you choose to focus your attention on. And I'm really drawn to the beautiful moon that she has at the top of her head and the arrows. And so the arrows are really that when you're in alignment 
and you're feeling it. So write it down, so feel it in your heart, write it down and then feel the energy flowing through your body as you just breathe into that essence. Bring that essence into your life. If you're wanting more love in your life for the week, then really focus through your heart center on people, places or things that you feel love for, or even if it's just the love of your loved ones in spirit, your guardian angels, the loving energy of the universe, because this quantum physics has already proven to us over and over again, this is not empty space. There is a divine intelligence in this space between me and the camera. This is not empty space. There is a, an intelligence, a consciousness that exists in everything that we see to be empty space and it is filled with love it is just pure love and so you can draw on that into your heart space as well and as you draw that into your heart space allow it to fill your body the essence of what you're bringing into your life allow it to fill your body feel what it feels like see what it looks like and hear what it sounds like and that is how you can get really clear on setting achievable and, and really powerful intentions for your week ahead. Archangel Michael, absolutely love Archangel Michael. And so what you're being asked, so thank you Archangel Michael for surrounding me with your protective light. What you're actually being asked and what I feel with the energy of this card for this week is you're actually being asked to protect your energy really be aware of where your energy is going to and who are you giving your energy away to and it's an analogy that I use often is that if you're thinking negatively about a situation or negatively about another person or if another person impacts you negatively the moment that you allow that to affect you energetically and emotionally of course, never stay in a harmful situation. That's not okay. Um, what you're doing then is you're giving all of your energy and it will feel in your belly area from your solar plexus or your heart space. And you'll feel that they will drain you of your energy. And that is because you're allowing yourself to be open because we are all energy and we do interact energetically with everybody. We have a field of energy that's around us. It's, you know, you, it, we can be woo woo and call it the, our aura, our energy field. Um, again, quantum physics has actually shown that there is a field of energy that exists around everything, even things that look like, you know, a chair or a picture on a wall or a plant, you know, that is a living, breathing um, object. So of course that's gonna have an energy field, but we can actually sense and see the energy fields of, of all things um, that are ex in existence at this time. And so you're really being asked and you can do that in quite a couple, a, in a couple of different ways. So what I like to do is we have energy, you know, we an exchange of energy. And so you can ask Archangel Michael to cut the tube of light. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for cutting this tube of light between myself and the other person. And that can be our loved ones as well. And it can be our family members, you know, if we're really feeling like, you know, our energy, they're, they're really drawing on us. They're really asking for our assistance and they're really wanting our help which is great, we wanna be able to give that to them, but we wanna be able to be in the best um, vibrational frequency and the best energy reserves as well. And so this is a way of disconnecting. Another thing that I do each night um, before I go to bed is I always say, you, and use your own words, thank you angels, thank you universe, whatever you wanna say, thank you God, if, that is, if that's what you're comfortable for. But I always say thank you Archangel Michael for returning all energy that belongs to me back to me with love and light. And thank you for returning all energy that is not mine back to its rightful owner with love and light. So that's another way to protect yourself of that energy. And of course the simple beautiful white light. You know you can just see yourself in a beautiful ball of white light and see that ball filling with the loving energy of the universe. And just setting the intention that I am now placing myself into a protective bubble that will allow only positive, nurturing, 
and good encounters to come into my existence because we can set those boundaries for ourselves. In every day, we can set those boundaries. And so that's what you're being asked to do for uh, Thursday and Friday. So for Friday and Saturday. The Divine Physician, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. I love this. So what you're being asked to do on Saturday and Sunday is to take time out of your busy schedule to do things that actually nurture you and bring a sense of well-being and wellness into your life. It's really about now I've you can probably hear I've been fighting a bit of a cold for the for oh, it feels like the last two weeks really because each time I feel like it's grabbing me anytime I hear my mental mind going into the story of how I'm not well I'm consciously making the choice to shift to that and say I choose wellness I choose wholeness I choose love. Now what I'm doing, because really any manifestation that comes through the body, and this has been well documented and well researched, any physical uh, manifestation that we have is a result of a mental mind activity, a conversation that we're having about that specific thing, or it's unresolved emotions in the body. And so when you're feeling or catching yourself catching yourself and listening to the thoughts that you're saying about your well-being, about your body, because let's face it, we don't speak very kindly about our bodies. And so you're really being asked to be mindful of the conversation you're having about yourself at this time. And so when you catch yourself saying, oh, I don't feel well, oh, I'm too tired, oh, I'm, I'm worried I might have this, or if somebody else, if somebody else talks about being unwell, you know, we're so easily... Um, we're so easily in, have embedded suggestions placed into our subconscious through conversations. And so when I hear somebody talking about not being well, in my mind, I go delete, 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 delete. Because I don't want that coming into my subconscious. So as they might be talking about it, I'm going delete, 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 delete. Because I don't want to take on that. I don't want to take on that or bring it into my uh, my field of awareness or into my subconscious mind. So obviously I haven't done that very well, but I am using it at the moment because this is, you know, I am choosing wellness. I'm choosing a strong, healthy body. My body is strong my body is healthy. My body is perfect for me at this time. I am strong, I am healthy, I am strong, I am healthy. I choose wellness, I choose wholeness, I choose love. So I hope that they serve you well. I hope that you have an incredibly wonderful week. Please be kind and gentle with yourself. And if you would like a copy of the um, Prayer for the Planet, please let me know. I'd be happy to send it through to you. Have a wonderful week. Blessed be. Namaste. Thank you. Bye.